nine mods, plus some sneaky footage, immersifying vanilla NPCs. From names to stealth, to the elderly and beyond. Welcome to Modding Monday. A simple mod to dull your psychic powers. Make all NPC names unknown until you talk to them. As a bonus, it affects modded NPCs and works well with the next mod. I also download the optional race archive. Install it right after the main file if you do. Automatically assign lore-friendly names to anonymous NPCs for a deeper sense of immersion. There are a variety of MCM options, but I find that leaving everything at default is the best choice for me. There are a few mod types that don't work well with this, so read the mod's description carefully before installing. I don't use follower tweaks, so I haven't tested the optional file. No, I mean, yes, it exists, but no. <laughs> Just, how the heck did that get in here? Stop followers from rushing into combat before the player is completely detected. Followers will also unequip torches when sneaking and make less random comments. Followers no longer trigger bear traps, tripwires, or pressure plates. With FTS, the only character you have to worry about sneaking is your own. Consistent older people fixes an issue where some elderly NPCs have elderly faces, but 20-year-old bodies. A little consistency for those peeking where they shouldn't be. You know who you are. This is a big one. Make daily life less generic. With immersive citizens, NPCs better evaluate danger, have lore-friendly relationships, and daily tasks that relate to their professions. Cowards will flee from battle, where others may fight to the death. They eat multiple meals each day and have real sleeping schedules. Hunters hunt, priests pray and heal, tons of cut dialogue re-added where it makes sense. The list goes on. Kill moves are not affected. Works with realistic ragdolls, only newly killed bodies are affected. As you can see, the dramatic death spin is replaced with a quick slump. I use the merged file that adds some extras, such as no more twitching dead dragons. Resting places for unique NPCs across Skyrim. Expanded graveyards. Additional coffin space where NPC items actually get placed. New halls where none previously existed to accommodate the fallen. Restores cut vanilla content that randomly resurrects a single fallen soul throughout your entire save. When a unique NPC with family dies, there is a random chance that sometime down the road, his or her ghost will follow their loved ones. This only affects NPCs with generic voices, and it will only happen to a single NPC each playthrough. Skyrim will not be filled with ghosts. When you interact with the family and friends of the Fallen, even those without the return of a ghost, they may now comment about their loss, making your murderous choices more felt. And that, friends, is Modding Monday. I hope you are all doing well and being safe. I will see you all very soon. Take care.